I I was thinking about how Aaron in the wilderness how he made the the golden calf and what I was thinking about is that he did not name it after one of the Egyptian gods which they had left behind and he didn't name it after some new god he didn't create a new god he made a golden calf and called it Yahweh which was God's revelation of himself to Moses in other words Aaron made a golden calf as an idol for the unseen God which the Israelites had learned to worship through the revelation to their prophet Moses and that got me thinking that often people talk about idols they talk about something that stands between them and God presumably the one true God which which is the true God idols are known as false gods and often when people talk about idols they talk about competing gods gods of foreign names uh, that are foreign to those who know God as Yahweh or the Lord the one true God but yet here we have Aaron the first priest of the new Jewish religion making an idol uh, a baby cow out of gold and calling it Yahweh made an idol to try and capture in one instance of space and time who this God is this true God who revealed himself to Moses what does that mean to you and me it means that even when we are seeking the truth of who God is or isn't there is always the temptation to make an idol of what we perceive to be the truth we may perceive that there is truth and we are, could be on, on the journey of seeking it just like the, the Israelites were on a pilgrimage in the wilderness on a journey towards the truth but yet there's always the temptation to try and get a fixed a fixed representation of the truth fixed in time and place and that's what an idol is a physical representation in space time of what eternal complete truth is as long as we're alive we, are, we never finish seeking truth because truth is all there is and we never are able to completely encompass all there is in fact the more we search as a human race the more we realize is out there and the the sigma the complete set of what we try to understand as truth keeps growing larger and larger and so idolatry is when we try to fix in time and space in a physical way a moment a snapshot of the representation of truth that becomes an idol why does God hate idolatry because it blocks us from the search it hinders us from the journey it cripples us in our spiritual quest so you know I've been a Christian a follower of Christ for almost all my life as long as I can remember and the temptation has always been there at every stage in my journey in this pilgrimage of life to sit down and take a break and tell myself that yes I've got it this is this is what it's all about this is who God is and I know the answer but the fact is I don't God is God and my conception of God is always growing the more I learn about God and truth the more I realize that there is even more it just keeps growing just like our understanding of the universe
First people thought it was just the Earth, and then they learned about the solar system, and then the galaxies, and then the universe, and then the universe kept getting bigger and bigger. And now they're talking about multiverses. It just keeps getting bigger. So what does it mean? Never stop.